Oh, violins, let's go! Oh, P Prime, add those violins, yes! Alright, next up, next up, next up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ready for this moment for Fireboy's new and latest single for his album Playboy. I'm excited about this one because not only because it a, is it a Fireboy um, single into his album, but this one also has Asha K on it. And if you want to, it's not even a debate, it's a given. The, break, the biggest breakout star of the year. Um, super influential on the sonics of, of the scene even. Um, crowd vocals, he owns that shit. Um, he has owned it since the beginning of the year. Um, but yes, Asha K now is going to be on the song with Fireboy. And this is going to put some, I guess, some narratives about him to rest. Hopefully this goes well. Because you hear narratives of him being a one one trick pony in the sense that of, of the production of the style of delivery and you know what i mean the setting that he puts himself in you're looking at the 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 parallels within all his hits from from sungba from omakwe even from omakwe to sungba to palazzo to peace beyond to you there's some parallels that people are easily to people that don't go further and look into his discography and look at the even the recent ep he dropped or even his prior work to that knowing that he's a lot more versatile than than we assume him to be um i'm hoping that this kills that narrative uh, that's my goal that this might this song might do that for him and and i don't think it's also produced by um what's this guy why am i blanking on this guy's name every time Fuck, something beats Something remind me of Ashakesh producer's name, man. Ah, oh, bro, why am I sleeping on this guy's name? This one remind me. Magic Sticks, thank you. Thank you, Magic Sticks. Why did I forget Magic Sticks? But anyway, but anyway, we're about to get into Bandana, new single by Fireboy DML featuring Ashake. Let's go! Okay, why does this feel like... I just feel like the beginning of choir practice or something, man. It just sounds very like they're testing the mic or something. They're testing the keys. Since six, I've been writing the story. Okay, okay, build up. But if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, only low ye me low. Music true. I know they blow trees. Listen, I should say it's not the blow trees. Bro, I remember this snippet. I remember the snippet. I remember the snippet. I remember the snippet. Just know this and no peace. It's about what it's about to say, right? I remember the snippet. He dropped this, it was about a year ago. He dropped this a while ago. He dropped this a while ago. Like he dropped it on his story or something. I remember hearing this melody. No peace. Just know this and no peace. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Nanao Sai. We say for color notes. I'm dying, bro. But anyway, yeah, I remember, I remember the snippet. Okay, so this was a. Asha K just came in last minute. Okay, let's go. But hey, my dad, I know if it's too back. Okay, wait, let me process the hook well. Let me process the hook well. Let me process the hook here. So, because there's, a, I think there's the pocket that could serve like the pre chorus. But to be honest, yeah, I don't like that Ashake is only, only coming in as crowd vocals. I want to hear a verse from him. I don't know, man. I, I, let me run the chorus again. Let me run the chorus again. Okay, Fireboy is still there too. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Second verse. Let's go. 
Yo, why be announced to the world, man? Know me. This is my part. Know me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Forget what I said earlier. Okay. Oh, violins, let's go! Oh, P Prime, I just violins, yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh! Okay, okay! Save all the money! Oh, that was dope. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was a good way to utilize an Ashake, like, an Ashake feature. Even though he didn't get a verse, I would love for him to get a verse. But trust me, I think he made up for it with the, like, with a two-layered or two-part chorus. Because there were two pockets where he had for the chorus, man. And I like that. I like that it was quite ext extensive. But, bro, that pre-chorus into the song, that, that, no, that no piece, just know this and no piece, that part for Fireboy. I love that shit because I heard it before in a snippet, and I thought that was the hardest, like, build-ups, or at least runs, that pockets that he had. That shit is nice. But as soon as it transitions from that pocket into the chorus, at my first instance, I was like, mm, I didn't like how it, like that went from this to that. It kind of felt like there wasn't quite a reasonable build up into it. It just came like it was too harsh on the record. And then we hear the two part chorus and then Ashak, um, Fireburner comes with a solid verse, like a decent, I want to say so, yeah, a decent verse. I probably need to go back to, but as soon as the chorus came back again, I was like, I was sold on the record. I was absolutely sold on the record the second time around that I was hearing that. Ashake, again, still very much in the style. And I said it before, I said it again. No one does this shit like him when it comes to the crowd vocals. My only issue is that it got a little bit harder to hear him. Like in the first instance, like it, it gets hard to like hear because again, you're, ha you're stacking vocals for like for days. It feels like how many, like four, like four, five, six, maybe layers of vocals that are there. So it's not, it, it can get harsh for you to actually hear what is being uttered. So there was no template to hear what they were saying before. But over time, it got clearer and clearer. But I'm not too mad about it. But it definitely was, in the first instance, a little bit harder to hear. But I'm excited about the record, man. This is a good use of an Ashake feature. Even though we don't look at the verse, still a good use of it. Fireboy, I thought, was, was fantastic on this. Bandana, come on, that's a takeaway line, man. That's a takeaway line. People are going to be tweeting that. It's already a quotable for the record. His picture is even right now, it, it, it's profile picture on Twitter right now. It's a picture of, of Tupac in a bandana. So it kind of makes sense. Bandana, bit Tupac. Hey, shout out to our boys, Pelushita or something like that. It's like, you just felt like a very, a nice blend between a street pop artist and a very like refined pop artist and it's a nice world that they built together on this record because as Shakira can see you can liken to the Lamba and to the street atmosphere but Fireboy very much international fucking global star right now so it makes sense that those worlds met bro because this would be nice for the album this would be nice on the home front at least for the home front this would be nice for the home front on the album and then maybe we hear another Ed Sheeran or J Balvin or some crazy shit because Ashake, I said Ashake, Fireboy already said this is going to be his most commercial album. So we're going to get some crazy features, I think. I think the track list is already out. Why am I even second guessing who is on there? I think it should be out. But anyway, that was dope. That was a dope, dope, dope record. I'll definitely be spinning this a lot more, a lot more, a lot more than, than I expected. Very catchy tune. Just know this and no peace. I like that. I like that pocket, man. I like that pocket a lot. You guys are 96%. Yes. Oh, one of the highest tonight. One of the highest tonight. The track list is not out yet, is it? Oh, Max says it's not. It's not. You guys are 96%, but damn, that's high. That's one of the highest ones tonight. And only only makes sense. It only makes sense. I want the track list to be out. But this is definitely going to serve as a very, very good single for the home front. Playboy was a good song, too, that could work in any market. But I think this one is definitely catered for, for the home front. And again, Ashake is still making bangers on a global stage too. So you can't even restrict him to a, a street sound. But know that well that he's going to captivate the Nigerian audience for sure. 
for sure. Like the African audience at least is gonna be captivated with with this Asha Care feature. So that's that's standard, man. That was good. Why be now looking looking dangerous with this too? With this too. Why be now looking dangerous with this too, man? They they're looking looking crazy. Olave, shout out to Olave De Bado because if not for him, man, these two artists, these two artists won't be presented in this in this fashion. And that was that would be dope. I don't know who else you guys want to see. Um, who else do you guys want to see Asha K make a song with? Because now that he has checked off the Fireboy box, I, I, there's some other features that I think would be exciting to kind of blend their music together and see what could come out of it. I want to hear Asha K and David. I want to hear Asha K and David though. That's my, that's, for me, that's my, a little bit of like, I want to hear that. I want to hear that. Put it in the comment, put it in the chat who you guys want to hear um, Asha K with. Because, yeah, I could see him with the David O record being super fucking energetic, crazy, like those fucking runs would be mad. Asha K and Whiskey is cool, okay. Asha K and Whiskey would be cool. Asha K and Wande Cole, interesting, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad too. Asha K and Wande Cole would be weird though. Um, with it, mm, eh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, Asha K's album, Asha, eh, Mike is saying, don't worry, we hear it on Asha K's album. Uh, sorry, Okpele. Uh, Asha K's gonna come and destroy us, I mean. <laughs> Why be now? Why be now's finest? Shout out to my Riff. <laughs> but anyway, Asha K and Peruzzi. Asha K and Peruzzi. Asha K and Peruzzi, I wanna hear. I wanna hear. Asha K and Peruzzi is interesting. Asha K and Benson. Uh, people still want to say Asha K and Olami Day again. Come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not mad at that, too. But yeah, man, um, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful record. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna perform very well, even though it's gonna break through the noise of, of, um, of um, Burner Boy's album too. I think it's gonna break through the noise, at least on the home front. At least on the home front. 